Hey guys, the Redstone Programmer here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this RAM cell I built a couple of days ago. It is vertical RAM for Minecraft Bedrock. I don't know if it works on Java. Um, you'll have to test it and see for yourself, but as you can see, it's pretty compact. This here is 16 bytes, uh, 16 8-bit numbers, and each one of these is pretty much a cell. So I'm using it over here for a computer that uses vertical busing. It's pretty useful, pretty fast. And let's go take a look at a singular cell of it. So over here, let me just clear it quickly. This is the right. So basically we input our data through this line here. So we can go 0110001. Right line is right here. Sorry for that. And now we can change the input. And as you can see, nothing on the output yet. But if we read, we get what we just uh, stored. So to build it, it's pretty straightforward. Just go wherever you want to build it. Build up a little bit. You'll need to do that because as you can see the read and write lines are right under it so you just want to put two repeaters uh, a repeater going into this repeater um, redstone dust coming out of the repeater here into a redstone comparator on subtraction mode and over here you want to go out back two blocks and out two blocks here and Right here is your data in line because it is stackable this way and over here I just flipped it from one side to the other and just put some redstone here. This is your data outline. So first things first you want to make a little slab thing like this. Uh, yeah like that. And over here, you want to make a slab thing like this, a repeater here, and two redstone dust like this. Redstone dust, or a uh, slab here. That's why you have the repeater here, so that when you place the redstone dust, it doesn't go onto this wire. And now you just want to stack it up as many times as you need to. Um, I'm pretty sure it only supports 8 bits. Unless you want to like add repeater lines, because right here, it, uh, the signal strength will run out. So just stack this seven up, and then go over here, stack this seven up, and over here, and stack this seven up. If you don't have stacking, you can just use structure blocks or, um, you could just repeatedly build it, but it's not very efficient. Now you're going to want to come over to this block. You can destroy that, but re replace it with a block, redstone dust. And right underneath it, you're going to want your redstone torch. Then you can put a lever or your read line or your write line. And over here, you can destroy this one and same thing. Just put block here, redstone dust, and right under it, a torch with your lever. Okay, so it's finished. So here's your data in. Uh, the repeater lock here, that's your right line. So this is your right line. And the comparator lock is your read line. So now to stack it, you pretty much want to grab, let me just extend these lines out a bit more. Like so, just Stack this a bit. Okay. Now basically, you're going to want to take it from about right here. So you've just set position 1 here. And position 2 up here. And stack. You can stack it this way as many times as you want. 
So we'll just go 7 for a demonstration. And as you can see, it's stacked nicely. Now you are going to need some repeaters here. So if I just power this, you can see how long it reaches. Repeater and repeater. And then you can just take it and stack it downwards, I guess. Uh, by the way, if you want to, a link to the add-on I'm using, I'll link it in the description. It's really useful. has a bunch of world edit commands, and there you go. So now, you can pretty much just input your values up, oh, well, it's powering that line, so 1100-1100. We can write it to this one and change the pattern up. 1100-0011. One, one, zero, 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 one, one. Write it to this line. Okay, now let's test it. So we just turn off the inputs. And if we read from the first one, as you can see, 11001100. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. And we can turn that off and read from the second one. 11000111. One, one, zero, 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 one, one. So if you want to, you can do what I did here, which is just take one, flip it, and build the other. That's another useful command that this world edit has. You can just flip it, and basically you just bridge the two outputs together, bridge the inputs together, and then you have some very compact vertical RAM. So if you guys enjoyed the video, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and see you next time.